Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Biochemistry Concepts. This part of TCA cycle includes reactions and energetics. Coming to reactions of TCA cycle, TCA cycle starts with condensation of acetyl CoA with oxaloestate. So this is the first reaction catalyzed by the enzyme citrate synthase. So two carbon compound acetyl CoA plus four carbon compound oxaloestate. They condense to form a six carbon compound citrate. Now in this reaction coenzyme A is released. Citrate which is formed here in the next reaction catalyzed by echonidase in the next two reactions with the release of water and addition of water. It is converted into isocitrate. So there is simply intramolecular rearrangement that leads to formation of isocitrate. So this isocitrate in the next reaction undergoes oxidation catalyzed by isocitrate dehydrogenase. In this reaction, NAD is converted into NADH and this isocitrate is converted into oxalosuccinate. And this oxalosuccinate in the next reaction again catalyzed by isocitrate dehydrogenase. In this reaction, one carbon from the oxalosuccinate is removed to form alpha ketoglutarate. Alpha ketoglutarate again undergoes oxidation by the action of enzyme alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase which leads to formation of succinyl CoA. So during this reaction NAD is reduced and also one more carbon is removed from the alpha ketoglutarate. So the reaction catalyzed by isocitrate dehydrogenase and alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase removes two carbons. So these two carbons are the carbons of acetyl CoA. And also during these reactions, NAD is reduced to NADH. Now the succinyl CoA is converted into succinate by succinate thiokinase. So during this conversion, one high energy compound that is GTP is produced. So as it is produced directly from the substrate or at the level of substrate, so this type of reaction is called as substrate level phosphorylation. This is the only substrate level phosphorylation reaction in TCA cycle. So and one more change during this conversion is the coenzyme A is released. So the succinate in the next reaction is converted into fumarate by succinate dehydrogenase and during this reaction succinate is oxidized and FAD is converted into FADH2 so that means succinate is oxidized and coenzyme FAD is reduced. Fumarate is converted into malate by fumarase and malate in the next reaction is again converted back to oxaloestate by the action of enzyme malate dehydrogenase. So here malate is again oxidized to oxaloestate whereas NAD is reduced to NADH. So when you see oxaloestate is finally regenerated. So as we have discussed the first reaction is condensation of acetyl CoA and oxaloestate. So oxaloestate and acetyl CoA condense to create this TC cycle but at the end of the reactions again oxaloestate is regenerated. Whereas the two carbons of acetyl CoA they are removed in the form of carbon dioxide. So in this way oxaloestate can be considered as a catalyte in the TCA cycle. So when you see the oxidation of acetyl CoA it produces three molecules of NADH and one molecule of FADH2 and one molecule of GTP during the oxidation of one molecule of acetyl CoA. So one of the important functions of TCA cycle is to generate energy. So now we will see the reactions where energy is produced or the reducing equivalents are produced which can be used to generate the energy. So the first reaction is reaction that is isocitrate conversion to alpha ketoglutarate. It produces one molecule of NADH. So when this NADH enters into the electron transport chain it generates 2.5 ATPs. Second reaction is alpha ketoglutarate to succinyl CoA. 
here also one molecule of NADH is generated and this also is equal to 2.5 ATPs. Conversion of succinyl CoA to succinate generates one high energy compound that is GTP. Succinate is in the next reaction is converted into fumarate which generates one molecule of FADH2. So when FADH2 enters into electron transport chain it generates 1.5 ATPs. And the last reaction is oxidation of malate to oxaloestate. It also generates one molecule of NADH which is equal to 2.5 ATPs. So the total number of ATP is generated when one molecule of acetyl coa enters into TCA cycle is 10 ATPs.